I'm Robson Green, actor and extreme fisherman. I've spent the last four years travelling the globe catching fish most anglers only dream of. Then I realised I've probably fished more places for more different species of fish than anyone else in the world. From South America... Oh, my Lord! ...to the South Pacific. That is unbelievable! And from teeming rivers... Look at this fish! ...to raging seas. Why not? Why not? I've hunted fish with some of the best in the world. <laughs> but now, I'm going to have to be better. Let battle commence. In my new fishing adventure, I'm travelling the world to battle the best... Oh, it's a monster! ...and win. Six to you, seven to me! Come on, you dumbasses. Every week, it's a different location with the same extreme challenge. Five rounds of competitive fishing against some of the best anglers that nation has to offer. I thought we had a relationship. I thought we were friends. No friends in war. To win, I'll need to catch the most. Revenge will be sweet, my friend. The biggest. You're going to be in trouble. And the best. Oh, that's extreme. I've already fished the world. This time, it's one Geordie against the world. So I better hope I've learned something. This <laughs> is extreme. Oh, my Lord. Fishing. week, it's the final extreme fishing challenge of my America's tour. And where better to end up than the USA's biggest state, the one they call the last frontier, Alaska. Four and a half thousand miles from home, Alaska is a near untamed wilderness. Over five rounds, I'll be taking on its fishermen, from its virgin lakes to its wild seas. Yeah, Alaska, this could be the toughest one yet. But if I win, I can return to the northeast of England with my head held high. For once. Many of Alaska's communities aren't even connected by road, making the waterways historically central to this outpost of America. Well, if there's any doubt how serious Alaskans take the fishing, check out the sign that greets you at Anchorage Airport. World record halibut. It's simply one of many stunning sights here. From the mountains, to the rivers, to the mooses. Mies. Moose? Yeah, some of the best fishermen in the world live in Alaska. And there's a couple of them right over there. Looks like they're not so big on catch and release around here. In this fishing state where the salmon reigns supreme, can the humble lad from Newcastle become the new king of the wild frontier? I'm heading for Resurrection Bay on the Kenai Peninsula for some of the best salmon fishing on the planet. My opponent, I've heard, is a man who plans to blow me out of the water. And with this guy, that could be serious. You're not Niels, are you? Yeah. Niels Green. He's an ex-marine. He's a gun salesman and he's a fishing powerhouse. And I've heard the way he fishes, the rods don't last long. How do you feel about getting your marine butt kicked <laughs> by an amateur from Newcastle upon Tyne? Well, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that because it's not going to happen. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Should I be afraid? Yes. Do I look afraid? Uh, actually, you do. I am. I can smell fear. <laughs> I can smell it. <laughs> you could smell my fear from Newcastle right now. Oh. I'm battling this bruiser for the silver salmon, or coho. First to catch the Alaskan daily legal allowance of six wins. This is one of the best places on earth to catch these fish, and one of the best local boats to take us out is one entirely manned by women. Maybe that'll put a leash on this alpha male. Woo! I'll go through! Woo! Oh, well, maybe not. But I can be alpha, too. <laughs> Luckily, I'm not just relying on my plucky British spirit. 
I caught some in the world over, and I know what to expect from a coho. One thing about coho fishing is you've got to reel as fast as you can. They're good, strong fighting fish, the cohos. As for Niels, he's big and he's loud, but that doesn't mean he'll be quick off the mark. Fish on! Woo! Oh, maybe it does. There was some steam coming off that reel there, there Niels. Bring, you're bringing that fish in like a torpedo. Shot, shot. You got a pack attack? Is that how a marine reels? You got to crank it like you own it. What does that mean? I mean, you got to manhandle it. Trust me on that one. <laughs> Great. I'm up against fishing's answer to the Sherman tank. Very nice fish. One love, is that what they call it? That's tennis, man. Tennis. <laughs> and how is that for a beautiful coho? And of all the species around here, the five species around here, the king, the chum, the pink, and the sockeye, the coho is the best fighter. Good start, Niels. I'm so pleased for you. Over the moon, you've caught that. I'm one nil down, but it's first to six wins. And by the look of the birds, there's plenty of fish out there. And Niels has a few ideas on how to get them. You need to crank that fucker up like you're in the gym and you're, you're, you're pumping 250 pounds. You understand what I'm saying? Crank that fucker hard. This is what extreme fishing would have been like if Arnold Schwarzenegger got the gig. Ah, like this. I'm back for another fish. But you, you see what I'm saying? Fish on! Nice fish. America too, England! Zero! Woo! <laughs> Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> you know how there's kind of uh, called soft playing and hard playing a fish? That Niels was doing there, that was called hard playing. I'm two fish down, but he needs four more. I'm not done yet. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, you, you. I'm not, look, I'm not taking it. the bait. I'm not taking the bait. He won't get to me. Hey, hey, oh. your paw! Gotcha! Ah-ha! Gotcha! Ah, gotcha! Yeah, hilarious! Gotcha! <laughs> hey, and I'm a sportsman. I like to play with my fist. So do I, Niels. So do I. Right, woo! Right. It's the comeback! Yeah. yeah, this ain't the 4th of July, buddy! Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Good netting. Boy, did I need Two that. One. These. Two, one. Two one. Two one. It's the comeback, Neil. It's the comeback. The comeback kid. Yeah. I never doubted it for one second. Bad for your health, bad for your fishing. You can't do your hard man reeling act with a cigar, matey. Yeah! Ah! I stand corrected. Yeah! And that's three one. I think you'll find it's the underdog that the women rally to, Niels. What's this? You can be wonderful. It's the magic fish wand. Can you feel the spirit? It's all gone a bit Harry Potter, but yes, I do. All right. OK. She's waved a magic wand. Fishicus Apirus. Salmonus Apirus. <laughs> I'm just a fishing muggle. Whilst clearly Niels is a fishing wizard. Ah! You in? As Niels himself might say, Here we go. he's tearing me a new one here. Another one, another one. Ah! Two in a row. Oh, yeah, he's still there. And that's 5 1. Robson, 5 1. Yes. One more, you're down. You're down. I know it's 5-1. I can do the math. Fish, fish, fish! But it isn't over till it's over. It's the greatest comeback <laughs> since Lazarus rose from the dead. Keep your tip up, keep your tip up. Keep your tip sorry, up. sorry, I'll keep my tip up. <laughs> and it ain't over till the fat lady sings. And is there a fat lady on this boat? No, there ain't. Keep that tip up. Good. Now bring your tip back and towards me. 
Nice and steady. Oh, he's running. Oh, hi. Lindsay! Woo-hoo. That's a Woo. beauty! It's 5 2, and that's the sound of tables turning. Fish on! Could be the biggest one of the day. This is the comeback that we're all talking about. Is Neil's looking worried? A little. My God, these fish can fight. Yep. Yeah. Blackwater right. down, fish aboard. Oh. <laughs> yeah! Five, three, come on, two more. Robson Green, fishing machine. Crafty, sneaky English bloke. Sneaking up on me. Oh, yeah, watch your back, Marine. Yeah, the impossible could just be possible. Hey, buddy, don't make me walk over there and, like, you know, maul you. Keep your paws on your rod, pal. Ah! Oh, he is. This might be the one that puts a nail in your coffin, buddy. his sixth, and that's the winner. All right, fish aboard. Woo! Let's have a look at this fine fish you that have caught. That is a fine it. fish. No, average size of a coho is? Eight to nine pounds. And that, to me, is a 13, 14 pounder. Correct. That so is a beautiful coho. A little bit bigger than average, definitely. That really is an extraordinary fish. And this is an extraordinary place. And Niels is an extraordinary fisherman. And this is an extraordinary defeat, making it Robson nil, Alaska won. So I've been mauled by a marine. But salmon is the ultimate trophy fish for Alaskans, so I don't want to leave without beating a salmon fisherman here. My next match is nearly 800 miles south in the Alaskan Panhandle, known for some of the best saltwater salmon grounds in the state. Right, what am I going to have to eat? I love the salmon. To start as I mean to go on, as I intend to catch and eat a lot of it where I'm going. A Ned Island is the only Native American reserve in Alaska, meaning the surrounding waters are protected and pristine. For centuries, the indigenous Tsimshian people have relied on catching its salmon. They remain some of the best fishermen in the state. Good morning, guys. Good morning. morning. How are you? Doing good. How are you doing? Robson. Robson, Dustin, good to meet you. Dustin Winter. He's the fisheries manager and he's been angling here for 30 years. He's a previous winner of the local salmon derby and I hear he has friends in high places. Today's referee will be the incorruptible force of US law, local fish and wildlife officer Roger McKeehan. Roger, I have to say, that's the most unique fishing outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> What's your angling nickname? The Enforcer? <laughs> Honestly, I've never broken the law in my life. Now, there's seven species of Pacific salmon, five of which uh, reside in these waters, depending on the season. Mm-hmm. What are we likely to come across today? Uh, well, right now, the chum, our dog salmon, are running pretty strong. We've got silvers or cohos. They're running good, too. Um, and the pinks, of course. What do you think the competition should be? Um... How about we go out there and see if you can get three out of the five species that are around right now. And Roger, you're going to keep a close eye on things? Make sure Dustin doesn't cheat? Yes, I'll make sure everything's fair. Yeah. (laughs) So a salmon hat trick it is here off the Ned Island. The first to catch three different species takes the day. Netting a salmon hat trick will be no easy task. I might need to grease the gears a little here. Hey, Roger. Roger, I need a win today. (laughs) <laughs> got, a, got a brown envelope in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've travelled too far to lose, Roger. <laughs> OK. OK, I mean you, you're my friend today. It was only a joke what I said about the uniform. <laughs> Don't think he's going for it. Clearly, he's one upstanding lawman. But the real law here is the law of the sea. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You hear that sound? We got a fish on! Just put the lines out, been fishing for about two minutes, and I am into my first fish. I'll tell you what, Dustin, I'd be a worried man if I was you. Don't come off. Come on. One nil up already. Yes, the lad from Northumberland. 
doing his country proud. And all I need now is for Roger to net him. Oh, oh, oh man, oh. Roger. Oh, get no. that hoochie if you can. You have got to be joking. Uh-oh. Lost the lure, too. Yeah. Roger! <laughs> okay. What are you laughing for? You lost me fish, man! You're the net man! I'm supposed to be here to The make enforcer! Sure. <laughs> you fucking hell! I'll pay you later. Man! You've just broken the law in fishing terms! You should hold your head in shame, bloody police! Bloody police You're dead! What are you shaking me out I'm for? Sorry. I'm not a one nothing. Oh. I lost a fish, Roger! Roger lost me fish! Roger lost me fish! Ah, <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll get over it, Roger. In 20 years' time. I'm sure there was something fishy about that. <laughs> Roger and Dustin, they're in it together. You know, Freemasons, dodgy handshake, one leg, blindfold, you know what I'm saying? I hope that was a joke, but I tell you what's no laughing matter. Win. Yep. Come on, bring it, just walk backwards. There you go. See how I netted that for you, Dustin? Boy, you're a you pro. See how I did that, Roger? <laughs> it's not that difficult, Roger. It really isn't. This one's small enough, I think we should let it go. OK, I agree. Small it may be, but it's a coho yeah, salmon. Let him go. And that's one nil to Dustin. Well done, there sir. There it goes, yep. Would be one all if it weren't for the police escort. But the boy in blue won't knock Mr Green off his stride. We've got a fish on. We've got another one on. Roger, stay well away. Dustin can net this one, thank you very much. And I think because of the way this fish is fighting, it's another coho. All right, we'll just... Uh... Do that same trick again we did on the last one. We'll be in good shape here. OK. <laughs> OK. You and Roger, some kind of conspiracy going on. <laughs> now that's how you net a fish. Thanks, Dustin. You're welcome. And there you have a fine example of a coho. They're also samulparis, which means after spawning, they die. This fish, after sex, passes away. But what a way to go with a smile on your face. It's a fish that knows the best way to cash in its chips. Yeah, I mean, there's a fish on. That's a good one. Ooh. Just let, let it take. We've got a good fish on here, and I don't want to fight it at the minute. I'll just let it do its run, tire it out a bit. Oh, that's a good fish. Just seen it leap in the back there. Oh, he is an absolute stonker. You got one up on me now. Oh, that's a dog, a chum. That's a chum? Oh, man, that's a chum summon. Look at the size. What an absolute cracker. I mean, look at the the design of that fish. Built for endurance, because this fish can migrate up to 1,000 kilometers. It's a beauty, it's a chum, I'm two one up, I'm really happy, I've forgotten about what Roger did before. <laughs> Dustin's looking a very sad man, the lad from Northumberland. And let me tell you, that's a trophy. There you go, Robson. Thank you, sir. What a comeback. One more salmon species, and I've got my hat trick. Yep. There you go. There Come on. on. Yes. And I think this is it. Could be the winning fish, boys. It could be. Oh. You know what? Better get that aboard, because it's a pink. Is it? This is the winning fish. Where's the net? It Roger, is. are you netting this fish? <laughs> Roger, you better get it right, dude. That's Dip that pink. in. Patrick. And that's how we do it. <laughs> that is the winning fish. I'm sorry, Dustin. I'm sorry. How does it feel? Oh, Rookie yeah. coming all the way from Northumberland <laughs> and absolutely trouncing you on your home turf. Oh, it fell out. <laughs> and after two hours, that is Robson Green's full house. There you have a pink salmon. When salmon spawn, when they head up river, they go through an extraordinary metamorphosis. They change colour, this one to a vibrant pink. It's the hat trick for the lad from Northumberland, beating the Alaskan on his home ground. Congratulations. Thanks, Dustin. Good job, good job. You took, you took that defeat well. <laughs>
<laughs> I'd be hemorrhaging inside if I was you. Roger, I never doubted you for a second. <laughs> Good luck. I see we're a team. Yeah, I, saw, I saw him give you $100. I gave him a grand. <laughs> Words can't express how this feels. But gestures will do it. Back on shore, there's a traditional Annette Island cook-up. Salmon is central to their culture, and every part of the fish is consumed. Dried salmon. Dried salmon. This is kajumps or salmon soup. So this here is seaweed and salmon eggs. Okay. This oil looks interesting. And this is kind of a staple too for us here. This is our local ooligan grease. So it's the oil from the ooligan, which is a small smelt. Yes. And okay. we eat that with our dried fish and boiled potatoes as well. So give her a little dip and see what you dip. think. Yep. Mm. There you go. Nice brave soul. What do you think of that? Turn the camera off, mate. <laughs> <laughs> why, do you, why the need to do that? Why the need to do that? Must be Dustin's idea of revenge. I'm sorry you lost, mate. Still, lovely salmon, lovely folk, and a lovely win to level the score at 1 1. For my next contest, I'm heading deep into the wild for some honest to goodness fly fishing for the ominously named cutthroat trout. I've never caught cutthroats, but fly fishing is what I grew up on, so I pity the man I'm up against. Or woman. Julie Matson. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Julie Matson. She's been a fly fishing guide here for 12 years. She's fished 48 out of the 50 US states. And they say no one knows American fishing like Julie M. Uh, judging by the transport here, yep. I take it uh, the place we're going to is not accessible by road? No, it's not. Only by float plane. Yeah. Where are we off to? We are off to Orchard Lake. Orchard Lake? Yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to go fishing for some cutthroats. Yeah. All I'm right. really looking forward to it. Uh, me too. Let's go. We're headed to a remote lake in the Tongass National Forest, part of the largest temperate rainforest in the world. Clearly, fly fishing has an extra dimension here in Alaska. Yeah, it's certainly a remote spot, Julie. We'll have until the planes return in two hours to catch as many trout as possible here in the unspoiled surrounds of the Tongass. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I love fly fishing. This, to me, is the only way to fish. It is, absolutely. It, I think it's a true art form. I wonder if she knows she's up against Northumberland's answer to Michelangelo. Yeah, I'm in. I am in. Oh, first one of the day, Julie. Oh, fish on. Oh, Julie, look at that fish on. Well netted, Julie. Just let you into a secret, Julie. What's that? This is my first ever cutthroat in my angling life. Really? And I've been fly fishing and it's gone. I get nervous in front of girls. Still, one nil up, you know. Can't frown about that. There we go. Oh, Julie's in, she's got the equaliser. You swam right into it. <laughs> you did. I thought it was well netted, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll try not to lose it this time. Right. And that is a beautiful example of a cutthroat trout. We just flip it over. This is the cutthroat yep. colours here. Yep, right in there. Mm -hmm. Excellent. It's one all. We're tied. Yeah, we've got about 80 minutes left. Okay. Let's get it on. All right. And, okay, let's release him. And it seems this is fast becoming a cutthroat business. Got another one on. I think this is two to one now. Yeah. Did you just flick that fly out then? That fish took? Yeah, you just flicked it out. Damn. Nice fish, two one, she's taking the lead. Fish on. You in again? I think that makes it three to one. Yes, I know. I know when it's three one. I knew when it was two one. Been outdone by a girl and it's not nice. 
Are you in again? Yeah. That is four to one. Four one. But if female fishermen have a disadvantage, it's that they're too kind. You want to come share my fishing hole? You'll share your fishing hole with me? I sure will. You got room for a Geordie? Yes, I do. <laughs> and she might just come to regret it. Oh, yes, yes! I am in. And that fish hammered onto that lure as it was about 15 feet in front of us. There you are. And that is two to the lad from Northumberland, four to the lass from Alaska. 30 minutes to go. Is there time for a comeback? In. It's 5-2. It's becoming a rout. It's a mullering. I'm going to need a miracle here. Nice fish, Julie. Thank you. Oh, I'm in. Keep the faith, Robson. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, really nice fish. Look at that. How's about that? Ah, oh, yes, Bonnie lass. You can't keep a good green down when it comes to fly fishing. Yeah, fish on. Fish on. Five, four. Well, it's only a tiddler, but it doesn't matter. That's my fourth cutthroat. It is. <laughs> One behind, with minutes to go. This competition isn't over till that plane hits the water. All right. Come on, make it five, five. Take it into extra time. Come on. Don't hit the water. Abort! Abort landing! Abort! Come on, Trout! It's coming down! It's coming down! He's about there! Please abort! Oh, bloody hell! Damn! The Lady of the Lake has won. I got you this time. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, so I've been manhandled in the panhandle by a lady. And Alaska's in front with a 2-1 lead. You know, I could use a little rest from all this competition. But in Alaska, that's not likely. Here, they've even managed to turn the noble trade of the lumberjack into a spectator sport with the Alaskan Lumberjack Show. But you know what? I don't do spectating all that well. The way this is going to work, I take one throw closer to the bullseye, see if you can beat me. Sounds fair, and you'll rue the day you said it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's go. Oh! Yeah, good shot. OK. A couple of fans. <laughs> this must be a queue outside or something. Get in the zone, Robson. Maybe I'll stick to fishing. There's few enough people in Alaska as it is. My next contest takes me up north to the fishing village of Homer. It's a must win to keep my Alaskan hopes alive. I fished in Homer before, but back then I was after salmon. Now I'm after something altogether more monstrous. The deep water predator, lingcod. But what really frightens me is that the expert angler, who last time was my mentor, this time is my opponent. Hey, good morning, Mr. Green. How are you doing? Well, it's a lot warmer than it was when we met last time, huh? Oh, yeah, beautiful today. Beautiful. Keith Kalki. He's my old salmon fishing buddy, but his real passion is lingcod, and he wants help catch a record breaker. I know he'll be a tough opponent, because when it comes to fishing, he's fearless. And that's just as well, because today we've got to get through some ferocious waters. We got a big tide movement today, so we got a lot of water moving. Mm -hmm. And at certain points, it's going to come and it's going to boil up mm -hmm. and create what we call riptides. But we're going to go through, aren't we? We're going to go through. Keith Kalki, no stranger to danger. Another boat just radioed in to keeping on. It's pretty hell out there, man. Good luck. Right. But in order to get the fish, we've got to go through this. We haven't started fishing, and I'm already getting my butt kicked. This two and a half hour slog through the rope means we'll only get a 45 minute fishing window. If I'm going to beat Keith, I'll need to do it quick. Here off Homer, our target fish is Lincod. Biggest court wins. Can the pupil defeat his former master? 
Okay. That last key. Yeah, we made it here. <laughs> We're way away from home, far, far away. Ling cod are unique to the west coast of the Americas, and I've never caught one before. But I've plumbed some of the world's remotest depths, and I know what to expect from these big ass bottom feeders. You've got to know how the current's working. You've got to know when you're on the bottom and just fish above the bottom. Oh, oh come on. i gotta, I got to beat this guy. I can't let him beat me. Right. Fish had a good, good go at it there. Come on, fish. Work with me. Come so, on, fish. Don't work with him. We're getting Don't some breakers now coming. With so little time, this might come down to only fish wins. And I've got a fish on! Oh, I got... up. No, he's off, he's Lost. off! Damn! The currents have dragged us away from the link cod feeding grounds, so Keith's pulling us around again. Time is seriously against us here. OK, we've just got time for one more pass. Weather's starting to pick up. Let's get her done. OK, sir. Ten minutes to rescue the two of Robson. Fish on. You've got a fish on. I got on a fish already. on! If ever I've needed a fish, it's now. Oh, yeah, fish on. Fish on! Fish on! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, it's a double header. Oh. Nice fish there. You've got a good fish on here. This fella Don't is lose it. biting really, really hard. He slammed onto that. My God. Taking line here. Taking line. line. Yours fish isn't taking line. I'm hauling this fish up from 250 feet down. That's taking me time. Oh. But Keith's got his up already, and it is a link cord. Keith, that is a beauty. Yeah. There's one in a boat. Good grief, that's a 40 pound fish. Keith, there you go. 40 pounds to beat, or I've lost in Alaska. Luckily, the bend in my rod says this fish is special. I'm telling you now, folks, I have got a monster on the end of this line. Whatever this is, it's putting up a heavyweight fight. I feel like I've gone ten rounds with Mike Tyson, I tell you. Yeah, you got a big one on there. Are you sure this is a ring cut? Oh, my Lord, I thought it was the bottom. It's a fish, and it's absolutely huge. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh, my Lord! How's Keith? that? I think that's just a tad bigger. Oh! <laughs> Beginner's luck. I was not expecting that, Keith, oh. at all. No. I mean, come on. This that is, is an extreme fish, This Keith. is an Alaskan ling cod. Look at what the poor bait fish have to deal with beneath this boat. That is one big fish with one very big gob. What way have we got there, Keith? What oh, weight? It's a good fish. I would say a good 45 to 50 pounds. Makes yours look like a minnow, matey. But you know what's best of all? I won. I won! Sorry, Keith. I'll have to live with it. A hard-fought victory has brought me level at Robson 2, Alaska 2. If I beat my next opponent, I'd beat Alaska. I'm in the fishing village of Homer on the Kenai Peninsula, also known as the halibut capital of the world. Taking me on will be a fisherman who's got halibut in his blood. And I think I see a bit in his beard, too. Morning, Ben. Morning, Robson. How are you? Good, how are you doing today? Ben Martin. He was a fishing boat captain at the age of 19. He guided his boat to victory in the 2010 Homer Halibut Derby. And don't let the beard fool you. He's only 23, a fishing babe in arms. You think there are giants out there? Giants. What's the biggest you've caught? 310 pounds. When was that? About three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Yep. And are we going to that same spot? We're going to that exact same spot. Can you promise me today I'll have halibut and chips for my dinner? I believe, Robson, I can promise you'll have halibut and chips for dinner. Looking forward to it. And I'm not talking French fries. I mean proper chips. We're heading towards Alaska's Barren Islands after the prized halibut. Biggest caught wins. It seems the trick to catching halibut is to forget everything you thought you knew about fishing. Rather than lifting hard and fast, you're just, an, you're just picking the rod up, and that fish 
is doing all the work itself. The best fisherman is an 80-year-old woman. Okay, so today I've got to fish like an 80-year-old woman. Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I tell you what, I envy young fellas like Ben. He has got his head well and truly sorted. But he's going down today. So, under the gaze of Alaskan volcanoes, we're preparing for the climactic battle. At least I think that's what we're doing. What we got there? Butt juice. This is a family show, Ben. I don't know yeah. what on earth you're going to do now. Just a bottom fish attraction I like to add to the bait sometimes. I do worry about these Alaskan fishermen. Put bug juice on bay. I mean, what's that about? But a man gets kind of lonely when you're hell up at fishing bit. <laughs> <laughs> I usually rely on elbow grease, but if butt juice can help me catch, I'll be a convert. And lo and behold, yeah, we're in. Uh, oh, we got a Let big fish on. running. Crikey, no sooner had that bait hit the deck than wallop. Fish on. He's got a fish on as well. We've got a double header. This fish is fighting all the way to the top. It feels like I'm dragging it through treacle, but the result is sweet. They're both nice fish. Okay. Get mine up. Well, mine's on board. Mine got away. Oh dear, how sad, never mind. So, and we have a beautiful halibut. My first ever. When he was a wee baby, about an inch long, he swam like any other normal fish, like a trout or a salmon. You know, upright, eye on either side of its body. But all halibut undergo an amazing transformation to become bottom-feeding flatfish, as their left eye migrates across their face to join the right, so they can both look upwards. Evolution can be cruel sometimes. OK, Ben, what weight are you looking at there? He's probably 14, 15 pounder. Oh, I've got me dinner. I've got me halibut and chips. The sun's out. I've got volcanoes in the background. And with a fine young fisherman here, what more do you want? Well, one thing I'd like is for Ben not to catch any more halibut. But by the amount of nibbles we're getting, that doesn't seem likely. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Fish on. It's double header number two. Good grief. Just exploded onto it. He's about nine, ten pounds. And I think yours is the same. Smaller. Yeah, much smaller. Much, much smaller, Ben. We're getting bites left, right and centre, but my 15-pounder is still the one to beat. Are you feeling the pressure, Ben? Fish on. Yeah. It's just extraordinary how many fish are here. Oh, looks like he's only about 10 pounds, Robson, so we're going to throw him back. OK. Oh, fish on here, Robson. Nice. It's a kelp greenling. I'll tell you what, it's not the biggest fish of the day, but it's certainly the prettiest. Half an hour left on the clock, and my first fish is still the biggest. But this guy isn't a halibut champ for nothing. Hooked into another one here. I think, Ooh. yes, you've taken the lead with that. Brother. I don't know, it's pretty close. All right, that one fought hard. Yeah, that's, oh, that's easily 20 pound. That's a big fish. I'd better remember my training if I'm going to beat that. I think 80 years old, Robson. It's not long off. Defeat's not long off at this rate. It's now or never. And the fish is on! I know I exaggerate, but this fish cannot be far off 20 pounds by the way it's fighting. Just judging by the bend in the rod. If this fish beats 20 pounds, then I've beaten Alaska. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, he is, he is. But the biggest fight right now is trying to stay calm. Oh, 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 oh Lord, we got a big one. Yeah, we do. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. <laughs> that is, that is easily a 30-pound fish, man. Look at this. Gracious in victory. It's the Robson Greenway. Hey, what do you think? I'm taking the lead there, Ben? Oh, you took the lead, Rob. <laughs> nice fish. My goodness. Have a look at that. You are looking at 30 pound plus of halibut. And that is why Homer is the halibut capital of the world. I don't think that's uh, just beating your fish. I think I've lapped you there, Ben. Yeah, just about there, Rob. So nice fish. That is an absolute beauty. And that's the final whistle. <laughs> so 
sorry, sir. Robson looks like you beat me today, buddy. What can I say, Ben? I came, I caught, and I conquered. I've tamed the wilderness to make it Robson 3, Alaska 2. The colors of Northumberland flying high in Alaska. It's home from Homer. And with fresh halibut and chips as my reward, my fishing challenge is at an end. Sheer Alaskan nectar. I set out for the competition of my life. And has this journey delivered? What do you think? Ferocious fish on the planet! My extreme fishing challenge has been an unforgettable adventure. Come on! Come on! This is the best fishing I have ever had, period. Arriba, arriba, I've taken on some amazing people. That is mine, not his. He's holding it like he caught it. You got a fight on there, Julio? I hope you don't lose it. Can I just compare him with the fish you've caught? Oh, sorry, you haven't, Joshua. <laughs> There's been one draw and four defeats. Yeah, I want a steward's inquiry. What are you laughing for? You lost me fish! This has to be the lowest. But three times I've been triumphant, and this whole challenge has felt like a win. That's what we're talking about! There's been prizes. That really is a trophy. And there's been punishments. Who are you? I'm the fisherman. But the final whistle's blown on my first fishing challenge. Awesome. Utterly awesome. And I only hope it's the first of many. Extreme <laughs> fishing. <laughs>